องคุยจบองจุนจุนจุนเรียบกะมันโตกันจุนนาการในเตปทีสัมนาการนั่งดอวิติกาจุนเตยลำนางสะเปญะนั่งไปมันโตกาตังสมรู้ได้ดาวจุปูสะสีอ thank you Mr President um, just one preliminary matter we're we, obviously we're moving a little slower um, because of the translation and uh, other issues with this witness uh, I anticipate that uh, I have this is obviously a very important witness I have I'm in another session, uh, one more session of questions relating to Tram Kok, Crank Chan, maybe a little more. <coughs> and then I'd like to pose questions to this witness also on uh, the central zone. Um, I'm assuming we will not be calling this witness back uh, late, later in the trial. Uh, he has uh, information relating to that. Um, so in view of the uh, um, having to go a little slower, with this witness and his importance. Um, we, we would, uh, I've talked to the civil parties, we would request to have an additional session, which means that I would finish today and they would use uh, the first session tomorrow morning. Um, so that's, that's our request in order to be able to uh, cover the issues that uh, this witness has. Just to clarify, the request for an additional session is a combined request from the co-lead lawyers and the yeah. มวยมวยเปรือก็มวยเวะสามนาการในทางไหนในประเทศไทยใช่ไหม We're just asking for the first session tomorrow morning, so we can finish by the morning morning break combined between us and the civil parties. Um, thank, thank you, Mr. President. Um, just to be clear, um, we're completely unprepared for any questioning on issues relating to the central zone. Um, I wonder why this request is coming now and, and, and not earlier. Um, I'm also asking myself the question in how far the upcoming questions, all matters relating to the central zone, is in fact uh, within the scope uh, of this second trial. Uh, so there's all kinds of questions that I have that are not answered at this stage. So I, I would like to have some more clarity and clarification from the prosecution as to what exactly, I mean, if it's questions on, on, on the rubber plantation, I, I suppose that's fine. But if it goes beyond that, um, then I would have a problem. I can respond very, very easily to that. Uh, he shouldn't be baffled at all. I specifically brought up this issue uh, when we were talking about um, uh, the witness statements, the new witness statements that have been obtained. Uh, the purge of the central zone is a direct issue in this trial. Uh, this chamber has already said, um, particularly with elderly witnesses, that we're going to cover all of the relevant issues and not be in a position where we're having to call back witnesses. So no, no one should be surprised uh, at all that this witness is going to be examined on this issue, which is one of the direct issues that are part of this trial. 
I'm, I'm trying to keep up with all this, uh, Mr. Yeah, President, uh, Your Honours, but I'm simply uh, I'm not prepared for this. Um, for these questions. I mean, um, there's all kinds of new statements uh, that have, have arrived in our case file. Uh, there are so many issues, and I don't see any reason why we should expect that this uh, witness couldn't come back at one point in time. He seems uh, quite fit. Uh, so I really don't see the, the necessity to move ahead to an issue that we have um, at this point very little um, or relatively little grasp uh, on. So it's, 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 I find it very problematic that we move about, um, we move on in this issue like it is a, uh, a very normal request. It isn't. I'm sorry, Mr. President, but the procedure in the first trial was that every witness would be examined on the entire scope of the trial. And with elderly witnesses in the first trial, the scope expanded beyond case 00201 to include all case 002 issues. So it has always been the, or the, the order of this court that all witnesses are examined on the full scope of the trial. We have never wanted to put ourselves in the position of having to repeatedly call back witnesses. So I'm, I'm, I take great issue with, with, this, uh, with this assertion. บ่าได้สาสํานักสมบ่าดํานางทรัพย์ในอัตราชีพบ้านเลือกหลังนี้เวมีการต่อจํานวนต่อว่าปีสํานักเบญจวีการเวียกระไดนูนเชียพ้อง
ปัญหานี้สมรัยในปตปีสมรักแล้วปตคาตังสมรูปตติดจ้Thank you, Mr. President. Um, Mr. Witness, I uh, provided you and your counsel with uh, a couple of documents. I want you to, uh, if you could, refer to E3-2107, E3-2107, uh, and uh, particularly at Khmer ERN 0006850513. English 00290207, French 00655727, and this is a note in relation to the prisoner uh, Tu Tip, which states, I quote, after Ankar. Held a meeting on 24 January 1977 to announce that Chen Ranzi's group had all been smashed by the revolution and not a single man remained. End of quote. Um, my question to you is: Do you know? Do you remember who Chen Ranzi was? ส่งกรบลูกประเทศน้ำลื้อแต่ชั่วโมงตั้งโต๊ะหมอจานดังใส่นี่ดังนาคือแต่ชั่วโมงเมตตาสมัยบรังปนุชยนุโต๊ะจ้ะในอาจารย์มันจำเนื้ออัดเคยในเดียวกันในเดียวกันในเดียวกันในเดียวกันในเดียวกันในเดียวกันในเดียวกันในเดียวกันในเดียวกันในเดียวกันในเดียวกันในเดียวกันในเดียวกันในเดียวกันในเดียวกันในเดียวกันในเดียวกันในเดียวกันในเดียวกันในเดียวกันในเดียวกันในเดียวกันในเดียวกันในเดียวกันในเดียวกันในเดียวกันในเดียวกันในเดียวกันในเดียวกันในเดียวกันในเดียวกันในเดียวกันในเดียวกันในเดียวกันในเดียวกันในเดียวกันในเดียวกันในเดียวกันในเดียวกันในเดียวกันในเดียวกันในเดียวกันในเดียวกันในเดียวกันในเดียวกันในเดียวกันในเดียวกันในเดียวกันในเดียวกันในเดียวกันในเดียวกันในเดียวกันในเดียวกันในเดียวกันในเดียวกันในเดียวกันในเดียวกันในเดียวกันในเดียวกันในเดียวกันในเดียวกันในเดียวกันในเดียวกันในเดียวกันในเดียวกันในเดียวกัน Yin Born, who was a former Khmer Rouge soldier who had tried to flee uh, because he was unhappy with the food and had not been allowed to marry his fiancée. Uh, and specifically, the notes say, quote, he and a colleague both had fiancées in the village and they had requested Ankar three or four times to marry but Ankar would not permit it, end of quote. Can you explain why during the Khmer Rouge regime uh, people had to get Ankar's, Ankar's approval for the person they would marry?
งลอยลายชมกปีนี้ยำอดดังเรื่องไงปัญจีรวมแต่เหียบกามันออยเรียกนั่งที่ออยสมสมาบตาเพราะนั่งสมบามไว้สู่ใสดังลือถึงออกนี้โยลโปรมันออยกาแต่บาการอัดบัฟมันก็เธอจะมีดังลือสูบวางโพหรือไม่เอาโยลโปรมพองคือหน้านาเพียบบาจะไม่นอนนั่งคือคูกายจังไอ้เรื่องปีนั้นเนี่ยมันดังเรื่องเพราะเรื่องจราจรมันดังเวียทางนั้นนานากบเขามันมันคอมมันใส่ปากกาจัดสับจัดมวยทำอ่ะอุ้ย The the translation I just received said 19, 1971. Were you talking about 1971, or were you talking about during the Khmer Rouge regime? When we talk about the Khmer Rouge regime. มาจัดมือก็เวลาบ้ามเหยียบจ้ำก็ทุ่มสมหายยลโปรงมีกองมีกรมคือยลโปรงก็ดังลื้อเหยียบโรยอ่อยเชียงที่ในดอลเวียเชิญปีเก้าเหยียบนาชนะปีมันดองมีนารอยนัดมาเจียบบกลมีกองเจียเอาแต่ลืมเตี้ยมาเรียบอ้อยเจ้าก็เรียบเต่ามาเรียบไปชราอันเราทั้งมาใบพิธาเจ้ากูเจ้ากูเชิญกูหนึ่งเหยียบมวยมวยกาหายหายกาตั้งนี้มันจังอ้อยเรียบก็จังอ้อยก็ตอบเชิญไว้จ้ะขับนะก็มอยสังเครียมอยู่เป้ยก็มาเอาไปไปอยู่ปนนั่นนกเมย์เมย์นี่จำจานติงยืนอยู่บ้านนอมจังนะครับมันมานอมมาคือเชื้อทลายจังจะได้ยีกัดการโตคือกัดเงินดมนอกปัญหาหน้าหน้าเราเนี่ยชื้อทลายเนี่ยจะหายทลายข้างจะหายตกกรมมันเท่าจะเรียบอ่อยยังสมเมียนจะบ้าเป็นนั่งไอ้ไอ้มา A little confused by your answer. Uh, you talked about a law. Were you talking about a law during uh, a law from the Khmer Republic government, or are you talking about a law during the Khmer Rouge regime while the Khmer Rouge was in power? สมัญเจ้าบาปรัฐาภิบาลไม้อันเมียนเทเพียบโทรเมียนนนไกลนุ่งเตไกลนุ่งคือบาปค้างปฏิวัติทางอ้อให้ให้บาปนี้บาปลมอ่อนเลยอาถรลมน้อมมันเมียนบาปแต่งตั้งไอ้บาปลอยลมอ่อนสมรู้ผมอ้อยก็มาอ้อยก้าไอ้เราอยู่ที่ผมรู้ผมรู้เลยผมออกกันนะอ
Uh, how was this revolutionary law or party principle, whatever you want to call it, uh, how was this communicated um, to cadres, to party members such as yourself? คือการตกทําก็ไม่ไม่คมเนี่ยได้สมกไม่มอดบ้านสายจังหมอถ้ามึงยุทธชนยุทธนรีอำนาจឲ្យជាតិ ប្រុសខ្មាស់ទៅដែរអញ្ចឹងมันจะเอ็ดมงคลมาให้เปยเลยสัลปะมายบบอันดับยลสัลปะจังให้ไบแค่มีลื้อตัวให้นาเด้คือสบายเพลือ <coughs> So do I understand correctly that the practices or rules relating to marriage um, that were followed in Trampok district uh, had been communicated to you by the upper, upper echelon, is that correct? And you, you mentioned um, that there was, there came a time where there was too many couples getting married and that you needed to start uh, group marriages. Do you remember what year it was that you started group marriages? ក្រោយដែលវាបងប្អូនស្រាចុះទៅមកភូមិទៅធ្វើទ្រព្យនារីទៅដឹងเพียงมาลมนั้นเตรียบรอยตู่ 1-2 And the decision to have group marriages, was that a decision made by the district itself or was that also an instruction from the upper echelon? Group 
ปีเลือกานายโยปรมาเถอเพอยังไม่จะเธอเราจีครมกบาลจีเรียกบาลใส่ยังวิกรกเนี่ยเลยคมหนึ่งสลบวิกรกเนี่ยเท่าเธอมนาเนี่ยเท่าก็เธอเท่าตอนสูมาเอาไปพองบางปงไปพองให้สำสำคัญสำไมครูนไปโปรมันโปรมอ right, uh, 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 ่ะเดี๋ยวนี้จะพูดถึงเรื่อว่าการ373475 English 00381025 French 00426213 through 214. You gave the following testimony. Question. Can you explain to us what they did with the confessions sent from the Krang to Chan Security Center? And where did they take them to? Answer: The confessions and reports, which were in the enclosed envelope and sent from the Krang to Chan Security Center to the sector, had to go through the district first. The district then sent them on to the sector by the district messenger. One or two days later, the sector sent the decision, writing on the confessions, back to the district. And continuing a further below on the same answer, quote: For the decision and confession that related to the people of District 105, which was sent in an open envelope. I would read them. If there were some names in the confessions were crossed by the red ink, it meant that the sector level had decided that these names were to be purged. To purge meant to kill. The district then sent these names to the Krang to Chan Security Center, who was responsible for implementation. End of quote. What I would like to do now, um, Mr. Witness, and with your leave, Mr. President, is to provide you a few examples of confession reports from Frank Chan uh, for uh, to ask some questions. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, my request is if. Uh, whether the, the prosecution would also be so kind to read the following sentence uh, of that answer. Um, especially the sentence which, which starts if the names in the confession were not crossed by red ink. I, I'm reading from an outline. If the counsel wishes to use this in his examination, he can. Uh, I don't think that's an appropriate objection. Um, well, I'm always reprimanded for not uh, uh, citing all the whole passage of, of the answer. So clearly, following up part of this answer is, is very relevant. I think. Um, the witness is entitled to have that part of his answer read to him as well. Counsel, I'm, I'm happy to do that. Can, can you tell me again which which part you would like to read, or can you just read it yourself? Sure. Um, If the names in the confession were not crossed by red ink, it meant that the sector level had decided to release them back to their village. Uh, the district did not have the right to cross any name in the confession with the red ink. The district only had the right to receive the decision from and implement the decision of the sector level. 
And Mr. President, what I'd like to do now is to provide um, a few of these confession reports to the witness, uh, and specifically uh, starting with document E3-2012, that's E3-2012. And Mr. Witness, what you've been uh, given are uh, three uh, reports, um, all from Krang Tachan uh, or from the Educational Office of District 105, um, which contain, each of them contains uh, some handwritten annotations. Uh, the first uh, page, uh, which is uh, the first page of E3212, is a uh, 30 a July 1977 report from ON, and it has an annotation up in the uh, top left hand corner that reads Smash them all, dated 7 August 1977, Proc. The second uh, confession example uh, is dated. Also dated the 30th of July 1977, the annotation in the upper left hand corner reads, it is okay to smash uh, 7 August 1977 toward 13 and the third report is dated the 11th of July 1977 from on, and it has two annotations, one at the top left that says to be smashed, and then uh, next to two names that appear in the confession to people that have been implicated, uh, there is an annotation that reads to be arrested. My first question is, uh, do you recognize uh, Krang Tachan Chairman's, uh, Chairman Ahn's uh, handwriting and signature in these documents? Uh, the second question is, อาสาชมอนมอนปันสมบัติจังใบนี้ខ្ញុំ I, I understand that. Um, can you tell us um, who <laughs> Proc was and what Tor 13 was? ប្រាក់ញាជាតំបន់ដល់បីដែលលោកសោមឈឺមកដេចពេទ្យហើយយកប្រាក់ចំណោះ <laughs> <coughs> and the instruction to smash, what did I that mean? I think I know that I can teach you how to มีในปีแต่เจ้าฮะนั่นคือทําบําบัดมันออยเมียนแม่นทํามันออยสําลับเด้ได้ยังบําบัดมันออยเมียนมันทําโฮวานะนอนนุ่มคลุ้นกําห
xin xem cái cầm tay cho cứ thầy cầm rút cho lại à hát ôi miền tiền cầm rút ẩm bơ cầm nơi là cỡ nâng ôi vừa chú cho bây giờ à ram nâng phù khá bán tóc là ở nâng này chẳng cái này miền này bí chú cầm rút cho thua ở hà linh mình ôi miền Mr. Witness, you were shown these documents during your OCIJ interviews. Uh, and let me, uh, let me read, remind you what you said uh, in two different interviews about these documents. Uh, in first in interview E3 slash 401 at Khmer 00373475. English 00381025, French 00426214. When you were asked about these documents and the meaning, you said, quote, on this document, Pratt, who was the secretary of Sector 13, made an annotation authorizing execution. And in your interview E3 slash 4628 at Khmer 00373391, English 00379307, French 00426199, you said, I quote, the wor this word smash was a reference to killing, end of quote. Um, Mr. Witness, uh, when a prisoner confession report was sent to the sector and it came back with an instruction to smash, that meant to kill the prisoner, correct? ตาในมีในท่าเอาสําหรับเนี่ยตัวเจ้าหรือเป็นจังไงบำบัดเจ้าบำเต็งเจ้ามันเอาเมียนเนาะรูปจังว่าจะมวยบำบัดเจียรำ
4098 Now, Mr. Witness, when you look at this document, there are two different documents copied on, on the pages. So if you would look at the left side, uh, what I want to refer you to is the left side of the first page. That is on page, page 271030. And then on the next page, uh, the right side of the document. Um, this is a report uh, from Frank Kachan, chief on dated the 4th of August 1976, a period during which you were the district chief. Uh, it's regarding the confessions of two prisoners, um, Lei T, a former Lionel sergeant, and Tone T, a former drugstore assistant. Uh, who were accused of criticizing the revolution and planning to flee to Thailand. And what I want to refer you to is the annotation in the upper left-hand uh, corner of the first page, uh, an annotation that states, quote, to be interrogated, then smash, end of quote. Uh, do you recognize the handwriting of that annotation? Now, you, you testified that uh, sometimes what you got back um, from uh, the sector office when you sent them confession reports uh, were names marked in red. Uh, did you also sometimes get back uh, confession reports with handwritten instructions on them, like uh, this document? My question is, did, did Sector Chief Sam uh, only respond by putting red crosses, or did the sector office sometimes uh, write instructions in handwriting? <coughs> you, uh, in your testimony, 
uh, trial testimony uh, in 2013. Uh, this is at E1 slash 215.1 at uh, about 12.01 p.m. right around noon. Uh, you gave the following testimony. Question. You said you requested for some release of the people from Krang Tachan security. Do you know what happened to those who were not released? Answer. I don't know what happened to them or where they should have gone, but I believe they died. Only some people were spared. End of quote. Um, my first question, uh, did you uh, have the authority yourself to decide whether prisoners at Krang Tachan were released, uh, or was it only the sector or higher levels that could make that decision? เรื่องนี้เรื่องราวอะไรน่ะตัวนั้นให้ดำบอลครบโครงครับเจรบะดำบอลให้ดำบอลให้ดำบอลให้ดำบอลให้ดำบอลให้ดำบอลให้ดำ
ແລະເລື່ອງວ່າມັນຈະຕ້ອງຮອງນະໂຍບາຍເພື່ອມັນ <coughs> In OCIJ interview E3 4626, E3 4626, at Khmer 00370136466, 00380133-34, French 00426204. Uh, you made the following statement, quote, As for people who had problems at the base, for example, those who had committed immoral acts, were educated locally by the village and the commune. But if they still did not obey the rules after being educated, the commune would ask for an opinion from the district committee, which composed of Com, Kiev, Nev, and me uh, and the relevant commune committee. We would then hold a meeting to discuss the matter and make the decision. In the meeting at the district level, the party secretary was the one to make the final decision on the fate of the person being educated. But the district level had to consult with the sector party first before any specific decision was made. The sector party would then make a final decision. The district party was the one to implement the decision of the sector party. When, Mr. Witness, when the di district asked the sector for an opinion or asked for guidance and the sector responded, uh, was that response considered an order or instruction that you were ob obliged to follow and implement? And did you know whether the sector had to consult with the zone, the level above it, uh, before responding with decisions on executions or arrests? I want to ask you about an incident you described in your uh, interview E3-4626, E3-4626. And the reference is at Khmer 00373-469 through 470, English 00380-137, and French 00426-208. Um, you were asked uh, in the interview uh, how Tamok, 
was informed or reported to regarding Frank de Chan. And this is what he said. Quote, I thought he was briefed with either verbal report or written report about Frank Chan's security center by the sector. I did not report to him, but I knew about that because in one day at the table of the sector level meeting, I overheard the sector report to Tamak about the matters of the security center. I overheard Tassam tell Tamak that the group had been resolved. As I understood it, the phrase had been resolved meant that the group was already purged. End of quote. You were describing here a conversation you heard at a sector level meeting. Um, where were sector level meetings like this held? ជាចប់ជុំសន្មានហើយ <coughs> ក្នុងការដឹកនាំការធ្វើការមកវិភាកបញ្ហាអស់ហ្នឹងគេសម្រេចឫអើមមាត់មាត់ហើយមានសូមជម្រាបអស់ប៉ុណ្ណឹងហើយ <coughs> <coughs> มาดองน่ะกรอยมอมอจูเด้นไม้จันนังจูมนะก่อนใหญ่นึงเต๋อจูซอมนะใหญ่เต๋อจูนไม่น่ามีให้มุ้ยนอกจากนอกไลน์
And can you tell me um, where where were these sector level meetings held? Were they held somewhere in Tramcock district? <coughs> ກໍຈີກໍມັນເອົາເຖີແດ່ມັນເຖີຖາມກໍຫາວຕັ້ງອໍມໍມູນນຶງກອດຈອກເຕົາບົນຊື່ຍັງ Vài con hô, vài con hô. Mọi người đi vùng, đây con đẹp đây, trang đây, cô chê đấy, mua nữa. Thử mà ngái, mà ngái đó, bà là thử mà tích, mà tích đó. <cười> And before I move on to another subject, was there a Sector 13 office in Trampok? And if so, where was that office? <laughs> Hiện là năng mò hô là chậm khiến mấy bạn Nhưng thơ mùi tiết thống Nhưng khẳng chướng Đấy nhé Cái này nó ngửi bẹp xuống Là ó Còn Mình còn thả dối bằng thả Mình cái còn một thơ cả nè Còn một thơ nè Còn một thơ nè Còn một thơ nè Còn dây rốn tao mốc Ta ôi mơ chọp chỉ xoăn nó bát chứ ý quên lại ở đây Tụi mà mong vì mong hỏi á Chạy vô quá cắt cú lắm Hai tóc bát Làm bán này có vô khám xa nó mong về nhẹ Hiền sốt Nè nòm Bất tỏ I want to ask you about one other incident uh, or meeting uh, relating to Tomok uh, that you discussed in your interviews. Um, this was an interview, again, interview E3 46 26. Um, at Khmer 00373471, English 00380138, French 00426209. And uh, here you were testifying about uh, another discussion that you heard between Sector Secretary Saum and Zone Secretary Tamok. I quote, After the sector assembly ended, I heard Saum and Tamok discuss another problem, which involved a group of 60 people who were living in Chiang Tong and Kabal O villages in Trampak district. These 60 persons were implicated by others. Tassam asked Tamak how to resolve this problem. End of quote. Um, my first um, follow-up question, uh, do you remember, Mr. Witness, uh, this group of 60 people who had been implicated um, had they been implicated in confessions from Krang to Chang, 
or had they been implicated by a uh, in confessions that came from a different security office um, that had been communicated uh, to you. คือจำลายมันคือคาดปีประจำสุทาลอดอสรายไม่หมกตูอยู่ถ้าบกลอยหะกอกอดมันทาระกอกอดตังกลอยจิ๋มมุนึ้อตังหกสมณะนั้นณะตอสู้สมงัดตังออยมไม
have two questions. Yes, two questions to the prosecutor. Um, in relation to the request for additional time and uh, Council Coppa's um, objection when it comes to the part of the argument that dealt with the scope. Just to clarify, does the prosecution wish to ask questions that are outside the scope of case 022 as defined by the um, decision on severance? Not at all, Your Honor. These are questions within the scope of case 002-02. Thank you. Then the second question doesn't need to be asked. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Juste pour que la Chambre soit parfaitement informée pour qu'elle puisse prendre sa décision lors de la pause, nous avions l'intention de prendre 1h20 pour poser des questions, 20 minutes sur la question des mariages forcés par ma consoeur et j'aurai besoin d'une heure. Donc je vous demande aussi de considérer la demande d'extension indépendamment de la question de savoir si euh, vous autorisez des questions sur euh, la zone centrale. Je ne sais pas si c'est clair. Il avait été prévu que nous ayons en tout 1h20 de notre côté, 20 minutes pour ma consoeur sur la question des mariages forcés et une heure pour moi, ce qui veut dire que si nous commençons aujourd'hui, nous ne pourrons de toute façon pas finir avant la fin de la journée et que nous souhaiterions avoir la possibilité de déborder sur la première session de demain matin pour finir ce que nous avions prévu pour ce témoin. Donc je demanderai à la Chambre de prendre en compte ces éléments indépendamment de la requête du procureur et de l'objection de notre confrère sur les questions concernant la zone centrale. J'espère que c'est clair pour la Chambre qui a l'air perplexe, pour les partis également. Et il nous semblait que nous avions une demi-journée en plus, vendredi, puisque ce témoin était prévu pour deux jours et demi, de, dès lors cela nous faisait terminer vendredi à midi, et que si vous nous autorisiez à obtenir une session supplémentaire, vous pourriez de fait donner le même temps à la défense pour que les temps restent équitables entre les parties. C'était les observations que je voulais faire et je m'en rapporte à l'appréciation de la Chambre sur ce point. Perhaps I've overheard it, but what is now the combined request? How much time do prosecution and co-lead lawyers how much more time the prosecution and co-lead lawyers ask for combined? Uh, my friend can correct me if I misunderstand, but uh, if, if they have the morning session, the first morning session tomorrow, that is about an hour and 15 minutes, so I, I think they would finish on that. What she's saying is that if they start at 3 o'clock, they need an hour and 15 or an hour and 20. So the last, the last session this, af this afternoon is shorter than the first morning session. I think that's... So Could you answer the question? How yeah. much extension is requested? The exact same thing we, we asked for before, which is just the first session tomorrow morning. Thank you. Oui, merci, Monsieur le Président. Monsieur le, le procureur, c'est une question pour vous. Je comprends que vous ne souhaitez pas avoir étendre, poser des questions en dehors du scope du, de la portée du dossier 2-2, mais les questions que vous envisagez concernent la zone centrale, qui autrefois était la zone nord. Or, il me semble que dans notre décision sur la disjonction, dans l'annexe qui est jointe à cette décision, nous n'avons envisagé que les politiques, notamment concernant les purges internes, d'une façon très générale, 
et nous avons même prévu une note de bas de page numéro 9 dans laquelle nous avons dit que nous pourrions éventuellement envisager d'étendre euh, l'examen des faits concernant les purges internes à la zone nord et est, mais ceci supposait une demande d'extension de l'étendue du procès de deux. J'avoue ne pas très bien comprendre euh, où vous situez par rapport à ces questions sur la zone centrale. Let me be clear. Um, the people who were the victims of this purge in the central, which is the old north zone, so it's part, there are two zones that are part of that internal purge. The central zone is the old north zone, so it's part of that. But the victims of this purge um, that are the subject of this questioning were people who went to S21. So it, it, the testimony um, on this subject relates to S21 and the issue of purges of cadres, which of course are, are, are connected. So I, I, I hope that, and I think it'll be very clear um, it, uh, from the, the witnesses interview as well and from the questions I will ask which part of the case they relate to. S21, S21, I understand. So the questions will be relating to S21. Or that is the crime site that we're dealing with, and in, in, in effect. Yes, there's also a section segment of this trial called internal purges, so it, it's relevant to both of those. There's obviously a significant overlap connection between that. In answer to your other question, Judge Laverne, I know you're referring to a footnote, I believe, that was in the severance decision. Um, I, I, I would need to consult with uh, uh, the office to know whether we would have any intention to, to do that, but not, not at this time. My, my present request has nothing to do with expanding the scope of, of, of the trial. ដំណើរការសាមណាការពីប្រឹកនឹងគឺវែងជាងពេលរសៀលអានោះ <coughs> ចាប់ពីនេះទៅទៅលោកអំមោងបីដបនាទីសូមជើងជួលវិញ